Hello folks, welcome back to Rage 2. So last time we spent a bunch of time down in the Dune Sea working on some stuff, and now I have come back to the wetlands, and I need to decide what to do. I think it's probably time that I go find Kvazir. Uh, I think let's go do that. I think it's probably well beyond time. And there's Phoenix. So, let's be off. Gotcha, Walker. Alright. First uh, Rage episode on my new computer. The game ran really, really well on the old one, so I don't think it'll make a, make a whole ton of a difference, but... Anyways, just saying. If I, everything looks and sounds a little different, that is why. Just recently got everything back reinstalled and working. Forgot how much of a pain in the ass it is to move to a new computer when you have so many, like, uh, personalized programs that you use getting it all back to how it was well he has sentry I can tell the frame rate is massively higher though even though uh, my refresh rate is stuck at 60 still I have not been up this far in the wet ones before the hell is that? Huh. We'll have time to explore them later. I just need to find this guy, finally. For those of you that played Rage 1, you'll remember Dr. Kvazir. You saw him outside the dead city and, uh, they gave you an upgrade to your defibrillator before you went in there. are getting a little dicey back here. Maybe I should just get out of the car. Should be it. Where are you, Dr. Classic? What the hell am I looking at? Oh god. Okay, get out. Get out. Are those friendly turrets? They've gotta be. This place looks like one of my settlements on Fallout 4. There's just towers with turrets everywhere. Something I forgot to check. Hold on. Yeah, the aim... Down sight sensitivity could go up. Sounds better. Okay, did it turn my hit notifications back on? I don't want that. Hold on. There we go. I'm okay with the crosshairs. I just don't want the, uh, the hit markers. I came looking for a Dr. Kvasir here. There you are. Let me just... I see. Uniform is wartime issue. Modified for use in Ecopod fortification. Violent, no? Then you must be... Yes. Second generation artist. How fascinating. Violent, yes. I'm pretty much what's left of it. Hmm. You check out. Hold on. I will let you in. Yeah, when I started, I had all sorts of random notifications about weapon skins and such. This is the one that popped up for this. Sure. Equip that. And... I like my Surge painting, because <laughs> it reminds me of that. This is the one that I unlocked. Now I'm fine with what I got. 
Oh, is this thing flashing? Really? Uh, okay, I kind of... Never mind. We can't have that. Okay, I've changed my mind. I didn't know this thing was going to flash. Oh yeah, and then it unlocked. There we go. Surge colors. If you don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, go look up Surge Soda. Used to be a thing. This looks remarkably like his place in Rage 1. But that was not not outside of it Welcome, though. Welcome, Ranger. Welcome. It's been too long since I played host to one of your kind. Dr. Anton Kvasir, genius scientist with a shifty past. Original artist, pre-Apophis. They say he worked for the authority and helped create their mutant soldiers. Then he turned on his masters. Joined the cause. Fought alongside my folks in the Authority War. Not sure how I feel about mad scientists at this point, but I do need his help. It's, uh, it's an impressive setup. Uh, Dr. Kvasir? Kvasir, yes. My lab suffices. <laughs> Legs. <clears throat> my research used to be more mechanically inclined. But over time, the machines, it turns out, fail. I prefer to rely now on genetically engineered solutions, simply because they can heal. Makes sense, I guess. I hope you don't mind, Walker, yes? I put your scan through my arc mainframe. I know you now. Your parents. Huh? Such a tragedy when they were lost. But Arvina Prowley took you in, no? She did. As if I was her own. But they killed her. They destroyed everything I ever knew. Dead? Oh no. She was... formidable. I was always hoping to... But alas, no. It was a massacre, an unstoppable force. Mutants, a new kind of creature. All tech and armor and guns, and huge. Taller than any building. And they were led by a man, General Martin Cross. Oh, he is back then. It was to be expected. He meant his lapdog scientist, Dr. Bendros, were always hard at work on their longevity project. But you see, for that problem, I just might have some solutions. Solutions? I've got one for you. Project Dagger. Ah, you know. <laughs> yes, of course you do. Prowley must have told you already. It will be easy for me to do my part. The project was always equal parts action and science. Come back in about uh, six years or so. Then I will have concocted a nanotripe reprogramming agent, or serum, as I prefer to call it. Whoa, did you just say six years? Yes, thereabouts. The science cannot be rushed. Uh, yes, it can, with better computing power. But alas, my lab is old and tired. Only the elusive Eco-15, still in orbit, could provide the computing power to speed up this process. The Ecopod's still in orbit? Been hearing about that since I was a kid. Yes, it was a miscalculation. It remained on the firmament as the others came tumbling down. If Eco-15 was to be forced down, I could tap into the processing power of that ancient supercomputer. Think of it, to siphon that brute computing force into my poor old laboratory. Is there any way to force it down? Hmm, yes. It can be done from the Eden Space Center. Then I'll do it. Yes. Wait a minute. You knew I was going to volunteer to do it, didn't you? Yes. 
Ah uh, yeah, the Eden Space Center. I've stopped by there a few times wondering why I couldn't get in. Now I know. I assumed it would be for some quest in the future. Now this mission actually sounds pretty cool. Go into a space center, call in some eco pod out of orbit. This should be interesting. So, Eden Space Center was... There it is. Alright, way the hell over there. So, let's fast travel to... Gun Barrel. Okay, it's gonna be a bit of a drive. It's kind of on the other side of the region, so, uh... See you there. Doctor, I'm approaching the Eden Space Center. Ah, yes. It might be overrun by road scum, come to think of it. But that would be no problem for a ranger. No problem at all. Okay. Oh, this is... This is not what I was thinking. I was thinking of that, like, cave bunker entrance I came up to that one time. sure how I missed this place. I definitely haven't been out here. Or I would have tried to get in. One of those other places must have just been like a exit or something. A secondary entrance or something. I have my pulse cannon. Oh, I'm almost out of ammo. This thing is so cool. It's alright. What the hell was that? Okay. Doctor, I made it to the space center. Awesome. It's in ruins, and like you said, overrun by thugs. It should pose no problem to you. And as for Eden, well, it was built to withstand anything. Let us get you proper access. Press palm to hand scan in the reception desk. Just a second. Just gotta get a picture. Doc, better hurry up. Road goons caught the scent. Wait and hold. I have it almost. Oh. Come on there. Nice. Huh. I like the sound of that. Ah, yes. Better to take no chances. Now you have full access. 
president. The EcoPod mission control is on the third floor. All right, well, we'll get up there. guys get in here oh I forgot to check if there's any like data pads and stuff in here Four storage containers, two data pads. I haven't actually noticed any yet, but. down. Let's see what's down first. Aha. Um, data pen. Exciting excavations number 10. I fear my curiosity may be the death of me. My latest prize appears to be the brain of a titan z z zygote suspended in a jar of electrifying salt water. The collection of this item has angered a swarm of goon squad bandits who have chased me into this very complex. I discarded it as I am unable to carry it, and Pigeon has abandoned me, leaving me to my fate. As I left it to its fate, a small loudspeaker built into the lid screamed a final request at me. Kill me, it begged. With any luck, it will remain hidden amongst, amidst the trash, and I can retrieve it once I've found a suitable replacement for Pigeon. Okay. Two. Okay. Um. Oh, wrong key. Space Center is very, very talkative. I just loot nutmeg. I still want to know how you guys got in here without presidential access. You crawled up the side and came in from up here. What about the killing? Think that like it? No, well, that didn't work. I feel like I still need to turn my aiming sensitivity up. This would be like higher. My look sensitivity is fine. 
but it still feels sluggish when I'm put it up to like that. That's much better. Okay. Quite the view. As I usually say, this game is really, really, really nice looking. I don't mean to repeat myself, but... Say, I'm the president, but there's some goons in here. No, I haven't denied. used my pistol in a little while. Hey guys, you need that VIP treatment. Oh, there's too many. Too many to be using that. Oh, I got some ammo for this again. All right, hello. Welcome to the suck. Oh, grenades. Any many grenades. Gotta love this thing. Hello there. Oh. Unauthorized personnel Bye. are no longer present. Threat has been nullified. Mr. President, welcome to Eden Ecopod Mission Control. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Made it, Doc. Excellent. Look for the central computer. You will initiate the recall procedure for Eco 15. Still in orbit. Got a data pad though. Urgent message. You don't have to do anything, Ivan. I'll take it from here. In fact, it's best you forget this whole thing and ever mention it to anyone. This is way above your pay grade. Ben, there is something very wrong with the system. Someone has opened a large data tunnel, bypassing all the firewalls right into the main network server. The data is wired to an external address through the northern array to some unknown bunker. This is a major security breach. What should I do? Hmm. Some unknown bunker. Like the authority. Recall sequence approved. Beginning Ecopod recall. Thank you, Mr. President. May you bring about a new Eden. Are we gonna watch this happen? The EcoPod has entered the atmosphere. Onboard temperature readings indicate thermal shielding is uniform. Did it just turn night all of a sudden? Where's this thing gonna land? Yeah. It's down! The Ecopod made it! I know! And so does the authority! Hurry inside and activate it! I will handle the rest! Hold on now. Photo mode. There we go. Cool. Alright. This better work. We'll soon find out, won't we? Elevator's still running. So far, so good.
Here we are. You have found it. Turn it on and let me handle the rest. That big supercomputer will soon be dancing to Kvasir's tune. It's all powered up. Everything seems to be in working order. Fantastic. The Dagger Project will now... I am getting a reading from outside the Ecopod. You have authority battle mutants homing in in your location. I'll take care of them. Oh boy. All right. Uh, how do we get out of here? Wish I had that BFG about now, but... All of a sudden, it's daytime again. Like oh God! Said, authority mutants shouldn't be a problem. Oh, is this one of those ones I have? To, yeah, I have to destroy the things in the back. Forgot. What am I doing? Gotta get his shield down. Side. Ow. Okay, hold on. I'm always fumbling with my weapons. Oh god. We don't get annihilated. Okay, I know I'm about to die. Doc, the authority mutants are no longer a threat. Good to go. Ah, so swiftly too. You surely are Prowley's successor. Right. So now you're gonna get to finishing up your part of Dagger? Yes, indeed. With this setup, it will be a breeze. Plus, plus, I will have ample time to prepare other feats of science which will be beneficial to you. Like? Ah, different projects of a scientific nature, all of which will help you get stronger and tougher, and ultimately be able to, how you say, kick the authorities' butt? Sounds good to me. Nice. All right. Okay. Or projects. Gotcha. Check that out in just a second after I get another pick. Okay, uh, projects. What do we got? Oh, cool. Oh, carry more infusion. Absolutely. Get that. Data pad tracking. Sweet. Storage container tracking. We'll try those out right now because I want to go back into the space center. Okay, health. Uh, signal from embedded. I'll we'll try it. Huh. Okay, cool. Have to buy one more. Spy drone. Eh, okay. Alrighty. I want to go back in to the space center because it was awesome. And I want to, tr I guess we can try this thing that allegedly allows me to track storage containers and we can Hello, see if, uh, Walker. My research is close to completion, but I am lacking one vital component. Please come see me in my lab. On my way, doc. Now here. Okay. I guess I gotta go back around front. Anyways, I'll let you know when I find some. Might be in there for a little while. Okay, I, I kind of see how it works. Uh, but where is it? Is it up here or something? Ah, I see. So it does work. Alright. Already got the data pad, so I'm just gonna go see if I can find these real quick. Just the other one. One of the other ones is in this uh, room where I went to here. 
need to guess another one further up. Hmm. I went all the way to the control room and I can't find the other one. It must be back somewhere. I wonder where I could have passed it by. Aha! I see it. All right, so Kvasir wants me to go back to him, so let's go see what he wants. Uh, of course I can't just fast travel there. Go to here. I found an arc. Jackpot. Oh, I did find an arc. While we're here, might as well go check that out. Oh, hi. Shouldn't hang out by explosive barrels. People never learn. Where'd you go? Hello. Spy drone round. Nothing out here, huh? Interesting. Storage containers or anything? Security scanning complete. Mr. President, welcome to ARC 410B. <laughs> I like that they still think I'm the president. That's great. Firestorm revolver. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that thing. Sounds epic. That is the Firestorm Revolver. It is effective at any range and can combust enemies at will. Okay. Alright. Oh, I see. Good. Oh, interesting. That is cool. I like it. Use the Firestorm Revolver's overdrive against the simulated enemies. Oh, I see. You don't have to trigger it. Just that is awesome. I like it. Your training is complete. Ending simulation. Sweet. I love it when you find weapons in the arcs. As cool as some of the abilities are, I don't really use them that much. Uh, dank catacomb. You bring a new human beginning, Mr. President. Sure. Well, I love this thing. Oh, hello. I'm almost dead. Oh, great. I was not paying attention to my health at all right there. Get out of here. No more. Well, I have no health infusions anymore. I guess I could craft some. Alright, I get the idea. Let me make some health. Also make some turret drones. Firestorm revolver has upgrades. 
Sweet. Speedy reload or mag capacity? I guess we could just do mag capacity. Unlock. Ooh. Cool. Oh, I don't have core mods. Damn it. I'll have to go get some of those. Just unlock it all. Sweet. Does this thing have skins? Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Awesome. Back to what I was doing. Oh. This guy's still alive. Or lady's still alive. I'm not gonna drive this. I'm not too happy with the fact that this guy's just like in the middle of nowhere. Whoops. Okay. Right, we have a weapon wheel. Of course. Anyways, just gonna run this bit. Yeah, in uh, Rage 1, it was kind of similar, what his lab was like, but I mean, it was in the desert, but it, it like had a drawbridge going across to it. So unless the terrain just dramatically changed, I'm going to go ahead and guess this is a new lab. Because I would have stood here and looked off around there and seen the dead city. And that's a mountain. I hope it's important, young Ren. I thought you said the Eco-15 supercomputer was all you needed. I have completed the serum sequence. It is ready to do its job. But it does not know what to work on. You see, I need to program it with a string of General Cross's own DNA. Let me guess. I can find that in a heavily fortified base chock full of crazed murderers. Oh, and only I can pull it off? Well... Yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> you have a knack for mind reading, no? Nope. I'm just seeing a pattern. It is amusing. <laughs> uh, the DNA you need is stored in the old Authority Genetic Research Station, where the wicked Dr. Bendros would perform his obscene experiments. There they stored all DNA from all the Authority, including Cross. They will certainly have reacquired the facility for their projects. But hopefully you can, how you say, blast your way in? That's what I do. Blast into things. Yes, I know. That is why you are perfect for the job. Such an expert. Blaster. You knew I was gonna... Yes. <sighs> Goodbye. <laughs> well, at least he's right to the point. Leaving so soon? You just said goodbye. What do you want from me? All right. Well, where could this possibly be? Oh, this is the thing I was looking at last time. I think this is the place down in that city. Uh, if you saw the last episode, I, I could not figure out how to get in there for the life of me. I kept trying. Uh, hold on. Windows 10 wanting to restart, but yeah, anyways, I couldn't figure out how to get in there and it was really bugging the crap out of me. So, now we'll get to satisfy my curiosity. Tell you what, they do a damn good job on the sky in this game. Anyways, back through this dusty little city here. There was a few things out here in the Dune Sea that um, research station in the Dune Sea. Good, good. Listen now. I went through all protocols. Found there that the authority, in case of crisis, planned to use hostile Arcus for their experiments there. I'm not making promise, but it is likely that this is where they took your people of Vineland. Then I better hurry. Can't waste any time. Wait a minute. Did you? Yes. Sentence. Completely yes, forgot I what I was going to say. Sorry. Oh, I was going to say there's a few things in the Dune Sea that I didn't do last time. There were there was a few really tough locations. Aha, it opens. Doc, I made it. I'm inside. Wonderful. Then proceed to locate the DNA banks. And maybe Vineland people. Maybe. 
I already found the one, um... Data pad outside when I originally happened upon this place. Right. No elevator music? What's wrong with the authority? Just curious. Not a door. The, the authority, they really love their fancy hallways leading to nothing. Well, not leading to nothing, but they have lots of hallways. Here we go. Project Archon, an ambitious adventure. Dr. Eskandarian, the blueprints for your updated Titan prototype are impressive, but I have concerns. The scale you are proposing here dwarfs even Kvazir's most ambitious efforts. While I'm glad to see your vision surpass that of the old trader, I'm curious as to know how we can sustain development and creation of such an enormous beast. If you cannot train it, it could wreak havoc on our operation here. I want a kill switch installed just in case. Make this your top priority. We'll assign uh, resources to gathering more materials for you if you, if necessary. Pardon me. Trouble speaking for some reason. data pad and I lost it. It's not really a big deal. I mean, I'd, I'd like to find it though. Let me just go back for a second and see if I just passed it by. I might be tripping, of course. No, I'm near one. Can I not go back the way I came in? Maybe it's above or below me. Hmm. Okay, well. Never mind for now. Let's use the, uh, oh. Always oh, right. Use this thing. Doc! I found him, just like you said. There's a whole bunch of my people here. Fly. Yes, I thought that they might be. Their biomass is used for the longevity project. You should get them out of there. And if you cannot, kill them like cattle. They are too valuable to our enemy. You really think I would do that? Being a super scientist, you're pretty dumb. Hello? Hello? You are breaking up! If you cannot save them, then kill them! Hello? It's a ranger! A live ranger! The rangers are here! I'm not sure why I went right. Looks <laughs> like I need to go down. Oh, shh. Uh, 
Oh no. <laughs> we all know what this is. <sighs> Bring it on. Yeah. pay more attention to my health. Fuck. Can you just kill it so I can... Kill it so I can kill it. Okay, let's get this. over here. Nothing, I guess. Okay. yourself out of here. Head back the way I came. I'm here to end this. Uh, huh. I'd be able to hitch a ride in one of these. The red door, eh? Here goes nothing. Everyone else ran, just not that guy. Wow, this is some flashbacks to some Half-Life 2 stuff right here, riding around in one of these in some weird facility. Doc, I'm seeing some pretty unsettling stuff here. I think this is where they're making the clones you talked about. The longevity project. Yes, my assumptions were correct again. You should look for a sample of the good general's DNA and bring it to me so I can put an end to this obscenity. I'm heading inside to look for it. Yes. I did was unrewarding. 
I shall take my time with you. Savor every last moment of your pain. Come and get it. Okay. Hold that thought about savoring my pain while I make some health infusions. Uh, and I need to remember how to throw turret drones. So let me check my... It can't actually be General Cross. Okay, hold on. Well, they were useful for a minute. What are you doing? Come on, oh. Okay. I should probably overdrive. Oh, I don't have it. Well, you're not actually putting up as much of a fight as I thought you would be, to be quite honest. Obviously, it's not the end of this guy. Him being the main enemy and all that. Yeah, probably. Now hold that thought, General Cross. There. You gave me the time I needed. Pointless protege. <laughs> I die. I awake, reborn. My plans move one step closer to completion. Welcome uh, to the world, new one. <laughs> you and I shall meet again. <laughs> Doc, I think I've got a big enough DNA sample for you. Let me bring it in. Yeah, I'd say Excellent. probably. Forward to getting my hands on it. <laughs> okay. Didn't find the other data or data pad. Or maybe it's maybe it's at the top of this elevator. I'm seeing the reading again. Yeah, that was far less epic than. Uh, I knew it wasn't going to be the end of him, obviously, but, uh... Okay. The Eden Space Center sequence was still cooler. Alright, let's get... out of here. Damn, this... where is this data pad? It's starting to bug me. Let me just see if I can find it real quick. Can't seem to get any closer to it. Hmm, maybe it's back up top. I don't know. Let's get out of here. I'm close to it. It's starting to bug me. Uh, Man, oh hi. The Ranger! It's what? Are you all that's left? Yes. Most of us were already processed, turned into biomass for the authorities' experiments. Vineland is pretty much leveled, but there's hope. Lily's there, taking care of business. 
You should head there and help rebuild. We'll do that. Rebuild what was lost. We can never thank you enough for coming back for us. Hey, I'm a ranger. That's what rangers do. Huh. Okay. You know, I just had a thought. Maybe this data pad is the other side. Where I couldn't access before. No? Oh, is it behind this wall that was locked? Ah, aha. Project Archon, a strong base. General, I am pleased to say that my work on bone structure has yielded results. We are using the same silicon based materials, but I've used a stem cell enhanced nano matrix to create what I call a muta frame. The result is a lighter, stronger bone structure that allows us to create mutants that are not only modular, but powerful and resilient. The members of my team who were killed in our last failed experiment will be glad to know that their harvested biomatter has been extremely useful in developing this technology. Lovely. Alright. So, uh... I guess I go back to... the good doctor now. I hate the fact that he's way out here in the middle of nowhere. I have to go to, uh... Goonie, and then... go up some reason it never lets me fast travel when I initially choose to. Just noticed when I showed up at Lagoonie, there was a guy out here making a snow angel in a puddle of blood. Okay, anyways. You know one thing I haven't used in a long time is the mech suit I got. Still haven't really ha had an opportunity where I felt it was necessary. Anyways. Alrighty. Here again. Ah, the ranger specimen. Here it is. DNA simp. I guess this'll put us ahead of the competition. I understand that it was tempting to do this punch. But this is a grey matter. We cannot start celebrating yet. There is simply no time for such skullduggery. This is our crowning achievement. For crying out well, loud. Now, place the sample in the extractor. Now, I'll extract the DNA from the specimen. There! The serum is now complete. It will, without a doubt, put an end to the longevity project. Alright. And? Something else? No? Okay, I'll just take the serum then. Not sure where that leaves me in the quest. Because he didn't, uh... Tell me what was next. Let's see. Ah, get inside the authority headquarters. I wonder if we're getting near the end of the story. I, I'm not sure. I still have uh, a few of these over here are DLC main quests. It kind of looks like they want me to go into the main headquarters now. So, yeah, we will. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right, so we'll stop here, and next time, I'm not sure what we'll do. Probably not do the main story yet. I need to see if that's, like, the last mission or not. But, uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. But uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.